hello guys and welcome to my channel today i'm going to be talking about two of my favorite apps which is kind master or kino master and adami premier rush these are two of the most sought after video edited apps for growing youtubers young intermediate beginner and even experienced um content creators to create edit amazing videos right from your mobile devices these two apps are currently available on the google app store and of course the apple play store so it is something that you want to learn and you want to know what the difference between these two apps are and which one is preferable for you i definitely obviously have my particular favorite but if you're looking for the best bet or which of these two apps offer a more you know convenient service offering for your editing needs then keep watching make sure you like subscribe and share and definitely show your friends families and people your circle for the somebody definitely your circle who needs this video now without further ado guys let's get started when the beat drop i'ma get straight to like give it to her give it to her give it to her now, first, we're going to start with Adobe Premiere Rush. This is one app that is very, very convenient to use. It is just straight out of the back, one of the easiest apps on the market. And because it is from Adobe, you just know that this app really is, you know, Adobe is one of those companies that creates services for designers creative minds people who want to create great things now if you know that adobe creates something just know that that app is going to be the sheezy the sheezy manisa is going to be one of the best app markets so um adobe premiere rush is for me one of the most amazing apps in the market because my one doesn't carry any watermark you're not going to have any watermark issues. However, you have limited options to choose from concerning transitions, concerning text, color, positioning, but those are just random things. You can literally just create videos. Like most of the videos I create, I necessarily don't need a lot of stuff happening on my videos. So when I want to use Adobe Premiere Rush, I literally don't necessarily need too much to do with it. If you haven't seen my video on Adobe Premiere Rush, I'm going to leave a link so you can definitely click on it and get connected with how to use this particular app to design, create amazing videos, whether it is for your Insta stories, whether it's for TikTok videos, whether it's for Instagram posts or even YouTube videos, whatever content that you're trying to create, video content that you're trying to create for your social media pages or for brand pages, Adobe Premiere Box brush also offers great videos the quality when you are trying to export is impeccable is so good when also it also doesn't take a little space especially when you're when you're, when you're comparing it to an app like kind master rather like kingdom master a video that you might export for four to five gig you can export that same video on um adobe premiere rush for 500 or 600 mb so you are going to have more time to export quality videos on premiere but a shorter and a smaller you know will be, be will definitely be something that will come that'll be what's happening to me today it'll be something that will, will definitely be something that will, that will come it's something that will be very very important for you having a good memory a good phone that has a great memory is something that's good they work on most android devices they're applicable on android on ios anyone they work well so one of my major um problems i, I feel with premiere rush is the fact that um they have limited transitions there are so many things that you cannot necessarily do and like i said earlier on it, it it comes in portrait form i don't like using apps that come in portrait form i am more comfortable using apps that come in landscape form because like i said earlier on i love to 
play games so if you're a game person most combat games come in portrait form and it just makes it very very accessible for you to design create edit videos that is why i like apps like time master so that is practically my con with rush rush doesn't has the portrait form like most other apps that you you definitely find several video editing apps that are also offering that portrait form me definitely tailoring to whoever likes that kind of app size and you definitely find a lot of people a lot of people have also said that they will take adobe premiere rush over any other app any day any time but this is just my particular con the fact that it's in portrait form you also have there's also a limitation of transitions um it comes with songs but i just feel that it doesn't really pack so much it's not it doesn't pack a lot of punch when you try and edit videos with premiere rush another good thing when it comes to editing on premiere rush is the fact that you can start a project on your mobile phone and continue on your either your desktop de uh, device or any other um, Adobe um, editing software. For example, you can start with Premiere Rush on your mobile phone and continue with Premiere Pro on your system, laptop, you know, device, whatever you're using. And you can literally continue. I like how the fact that you can literally transcend it from doing something here and continue to project somewhere else. It's a great and effective tool. And if you are subscribed to the Adobe Premiere Pro premium package, you have tons and tons and tons to choose, to choose from you can also um color grade there's so many things that you can do with it and it's just a good editing software for beginners especially people who are starting and they don't have that money they don't they don't want the stress of editing videos and having to deal with the watermark issue okay and it's also affordable depending on your pocket size but you can definitely still edit without having to worry about watermark okay so my own personal preference concerning adobe premiere rush is the fact that it doesn't come with watermarks it is convenient to use the interface is very very simple it's literally drag and drop there's no too much complications it's not something that you have to go and learn and for example i don't know understand design but when i enter adobe i'm like what is happening photoshop i'm like what is happening you know it's it's complicated for me because i don't know how to design or use the app but when you don't know how to use rush just open devices it's very easy to use it's very accessible and it's really really smooth you can just pick and drag and move around this add more layers as you like and it, it's just there's, you have that freedom and liberty to edit as you like and that's what I like about it now moving on to another one is going to be Kind Master now Kind Master or Kingdom Master because for some reason nobody has found the right pronunciation to how on how to spell that Kind Master or Kingdom Master rather on how to pronounce it however I love to call it Kind Master is Kini Master. I feel there are no brackets or no obstructions in the word, so there is really no reason for me to, you know, put stops to it. So it's Kind Master for me. Now, Kind Master for me, like I said earlier, is a good design edit video editing tool to use for mobile. The interface is really nice. When you open it up, you just land on this really open space for you to just start picking and dropping. You can add media, add music add stickers and so much more one of the things i love about um kind master the fact that you have here tons and tons of effects tons and tons of um effects stickers fonts you can color grade oh my god there's so many things that you can use on the app even though it comes at a price and you need to deal with the watermark if you want to use a free version but what it offers consumers and users is so much compared to rush so for me that is one of the things i love about kind master and the fact that the interface is literally landscape form ensuring that it gives you that gamer ability even though you feel okay if you don't like playing games on your mobile phone or you're not used to whole gamer community and the gamer attitude but the interface also affords you that ability to edit with two thumbs and two your two hands you know so it's not like you're just clicking and you can literally 
um a dislike this and it's very very easy for you so in conclusion i'll definitely say because i don't want to make this video so long i have already created videos concerning how to use these two um devices these two apps so it would just be over repetition that might cause me to just say things i have already mentioned in these videos so if you want an extensive video on how to use these apps i've already created a video to that effect now one thing that i'm i'm going to raise is i would advise you never to use music from either of these two apps whether it is from kind master whether it is from um rush or any other mobile device video editing mobile device never use music from any video editing device because you will have a copyright claim on that music on that video if you use that music on youtube there's somebody that created that video so you don't want to don't get yourself into that problem there are places where you can get free music i'm going to do a video to that effect in a later day but for now we're just talking about that so i'll definitely say you can go to youtube audio library and get access to free music and they're always updating every single time so you're all you're always open to exploring new music right from the youtube music audio library but back to um kind master kind master offers there's so many things that you can have and explore with the app you have music a ton of music that i will not advise you to use a ton of fonts guys that are free to use so good like they just continue going and going and it, it, it never stops there's so many you are spoiled for choice when it comes to using effects when it comes to stickers when it comes to anything and the transitions are insane like you can use it i've done an extensive video to that so i will definitely say that i personally love kind master over adobe rush not for anything special but for the fact that it offers more it packs more of a punch in comparison to what adobe offers kind master is the if you're looking for the video editing tool that only one video editing tool for your videos and you want editing videos on your mobile phones i'll definitely advise you to use kind master it packs a punch it offers you so much um some of my cons will definitely be i have to think about my cons but some of my cons will definitely be um mm, i'll say that it always you have to um it it, it exports videos on a large file so you're going to have a very very heavy videos on your mobile phone and if you don't have space it's going to copy it because it's sort of worry for you um ah another thing is what well, honestly if i have any other i'm going to leave it down below but, but my own personal favorite is definitely kind master kind master for me is a winner when, when it comes to these two apps adobe doesn't really come that doesn't really you know calm that much but there are a lot of people that will say that they prefer adobe rush to kind master for me is kind master over adobe rush all depends on who is telling you this and why they decide or feel that that particular app works better but it will also be better for you to reach your own conclusion when you download both of these apps and try them out for yourself i also like to use them for different things so if i want to um edit straight up simple videos adobe premiere rush if i want to do something complicated with a lot of effects here and there transitions here and there just to just show parody and just feel like you know i'm trying to give you guys something uh, extremely you know mad <laughs> then definitely kind master anyways that's all for me today if this video has been helpful because I, I promised i was going to do a vast sauce between kind master and adobe premiere rush and this is my best guys i know it's simple i know it's fast i know it's a bit rushed but i just feel that i already created an extensive video concerning how to use these two apps highlighting their key strengths and maybe maybe weaknesses for you there so that is way more for you to explore anyways my particular favorite like i said it around is time monster i would like to know which ones you have used have you used any of these two apps and which one works better for you yes guys and um, that's all for now and for me till i come your way on my next video ensure you like subscribe share and definitely 
keep on being creative my name is Omar and i'll be with you in the next one